right, guys, we are now on to the editing and revising. I'm going to be kind of combining these two steps just because it's difficult to do this virtually without um, help in the classroom on this process. So we're going to be doing the editing and revising. Um, right here it says editing is so easy on your computer. You can use tools like spell check or grammar to fix any mistakes that you may have. And the revising is kind of when we're going to be working together and collaborating to help one another and do a, uh, an electronic peer edit. So this is for those of you that are completely done with your writing and you're all done with the editing phase and the drafting phase. So as of now, I have four of you guys completely done with this process. So I'm going to walk you through what I want you to do and I'm going to partner you up with one another to work on editing and reviewing and revising each other's work. So I have a sample right here. This is one of your guys' uh, work or one of your guys' writing. Um, I did take your name off just because this is going on YouTube. I don't want your name on there. So if you recognize your writing, yes, this is um, one, of your, uh, one of my students' writing. What I had you guys do in the previous video is I had you guys take all of these prompts you copied and pasted it, and you created it into paragraph form down here in the bottom of your document, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm gonna partner you up on this post, you'll see, you know, I'm putting this student with this student, this student with this student. You are then going to open up this document right here that I've created for you, and I've also put in your, um, I also put in this post. If you notice, there's a self-edit side, and then there's a peer edit side. What I want you to do is you are going to self-edit first. You are going to see, okay, this is my checklist items. And after you complete each one of these items, you're just going to go up here where it says edit. You're going to delete it and you're going to put an X. That's how we know you've completed that process. Okay. So for example, if I was a student, I'd go, okay, I need to read my written piece aloud and see where to stop and pause for periods, question marks, exclamation marks, and commas. So I'd go back to my writing, I'd read this out loud, I'd check to see if all my punctuation is in the right spot. Once I'm done with that, I would put an X, okay? I'd continue this process until I have checked my capital letters, grammar, and spelling. You wanna have this whole column filled with Xs, okay? Once you have done that, okay, then your partner, which you will see I will assign you on in Google Classroom here, your partner, is going to say, okay, I see my partner got all of this done. Now I can do my peer edit. So the partner is going to say, okay, I read the author's piece aloud to see where to stop or pause for periods, question marks, exclamation marks, and commas. Okay, I'm going to go back to my partner's writing. I'm going to read the same thing that they just did. I'm going to make sure their commas and punctuations are in the right spot. But let's say, oh, you know, this, this should be... Um, this should be an exclamation mark. I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna highlight it at my partner's work, and I'm gonna hit comma, comment, and I'm gonna say, this should be an exclamation mark, okay? And again, this is just an example. There, there might not be an exclamation mark needed there, but then you'd hit comment, okay? That's just my example there. Okay, I did that, I, did, I read it out loud. I'm going to put an X there. I did my part and I'm gonna comment and say, right here for commenting or suggestions, I'm gonna say, I really like how you use questions um, and other sentences, okay? And obviously this is too big, so I would highlight this and make the font smaller. Again, this is just something for you to put in for your, your partner. And this is all just an example, okay? Um, put it back here to, there we go, edit. Again, as a partner, you are going to continue to read all of these checklist items. You are going to work on your partner's reading or writing. You are going to use this checklist to guide you. You're going to give comments. You are going to comment on your partner's work by just highlighting a part that you want commented on. Hit comment, put your comment there. When you are all done with this phase, when you are all done with the self-edit and the peer edit, you are going to comment on this post saying, done. Done with self-edit, done with peer edit. Then I will take you to the next phase of publishing, which is going to be pretty fun. I'm excited for this publishing phase, okay? 
Lots of steps here. I'm going to quickly review it. Look for your partner that I'm going to assign you to on this post. Open this document up. Do a self-edit. Once your partner's self-edit is done, then you can do the peer edit. When the peer edit is done, comment on the post saying, I'm done with the peer edit and the self-edit. I'm ready for the publishing phase. All right, hopefully this, this makes sense. I know there's a lot of instructions I just gave you and it's super hard to do online, but I think we can get through this. All right, take care, guys.